Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Acer Chromebook 714, take a look at some of the features, the specifications, and take a dive into Chrome OS. Let's do this. Let's begin today's video by taking this device out the box and seeing what comes included. You can see the box is split into two distinct sections. On the right hand side, you've actually got your power cord and this is actually USB-C. That's really, really great. It's a reversible connector and especially means you can power this device up more easily on the move. A great connection standard from Acer there. On the left hand side of the box, you actually get the Chromebook itself, nice and securely packaged up with any manuals and documentation located underneath. Taking the device out the box, you can see it's got a really nice design with a metallic shiny Acer logo. You've got a dark gray finish all the way around, which looks pretty fantastic actually, and quite a strong IO. You've got your USB-C connector for charging the device up. You've also got a USB-A uh, connector, the Type 3 quicker variety, and a headphone mic combo jack. On the other side, we've got once again another USB-C port for charging the device or plugging in USB-C accessories, our Kensington lock, and also a micro SD connector. This is really great for transferring files on the move and is a nice addition. Saves happen to plug a dongle in or anything like that, and also gives you some expandable storage capability as well, which is always a nice touch. Now, opening the screen of the device up, you can see here we've got a full HD 1080p panel with a protective film uh, over the keyboard. We've got a really nice trackpad at the bottom, which we'll try out in just a second time. And that actually springs the device nicely into life. We've also got a fingerprint reader as well here, which is great for security and a nice little addition to a notebook like this. The notebook, as you can see, greets you with a setup screen that just jumps through some of our Chrome OS settings. We're going to connect up to the internet and then the device is going to check for updates to make sure that we're running the latest version of Chrome OS. You'll then proceed to sign into a Google account or browse as a guest and that brings us nicely into Chrome OS itself. You can see here that on the bottom left of the screen, we've got all the different things we might want to do. So for example, you can open up Google Chrome, browse the web and use some of the G Suite applications, which we'll look at in a second. You can also browse your local files, go through and configure some of your settings and also manage printers and all that sort of stuff that covers off all the really essential functions of actually day-to-day -day computing use without any extra hassle. It keeps the bloatware to an absolute bare minimum and makes your computing experience super simple. What that also means is that when we shut the laptop and then go and open it again, we're back into Chrome OS in an instant and that makes things super streamlined. All in all, I really like this little Acer Chromebook. It's ready to go at an instant, super duper snappy, as you can see by closing and then reopening the lid, it's ready to go. And with more than ever being done in the browser, with not only Google's online suite of Docs applications, but also OneDrive 365 and Office 365, this device really does help you get that work done nice and easily. Build quality is pretty good as well, and the versatile USB-C ports, which not only include the power connector, but also a USB-C data port on both sides of the device, I mean it's super versatile as well. Let's give that a go in particular and plug this device up to an external monitor using that USB-C port to see just how good it looks. With the Acer Chromebook connected up to our Acer 27 inch monitor, you can suddenly see how versatile this device is. Not only can you create and edit documents on the move or you know, on your lap for example, but also at a desk even more productively. So you can see here we've got a Google Sheets file open for forming spreadsheets. You can also create slide presentations uh, in Google Slides, which is really, really versatile. As well as of course, create Word documents uh, in Google Docs. You can also browse the web, of course, all the sites out there, uh, use Office 365 online, consume video content on YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime Video, which really covers all the key bases off for a device like this. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up for our unboxing, quick look and overview of the Acer Chromebook 714. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon.